My mother always bought shoes for us at a shoe store at the corner of Peachtree Road and West Paces Ferry. And we were there one day and the shoe salesman said, well, we're going to have something special coming in this week, so you should come back and see what it is. Well, I was about five, I guess. And so I didn't understand. I thought it was going to be a parade. But when we got there, uh, there were lots and lots of people. They had blocked West Paces Ferry Road, and they had blocked uh, Roswell and Peachtree all around, but they had left uh, Peachtree Road south open, but the crowds were gathering and sort of then in a semicircle. And so when we got there, I was so little, I st was standing on the front row of and this about crowd. What year would this have been? This was probably about 1935. Okay. Um, the this big truck drove up and it was a flat a flatbed back and the shoe store man came out of the shoe store and with a megaphone and they had a ladder there and he climbed up the ladder and stood on the back of that truck and he said oh i see our special guest coming now and so we all looked down Peachtree, and there was a long black car came up and parked behind this flatbed truck and he said, welcome our guest, um, Mr. Robert Wardlaw. Hmm. Now, do you know who I'm talking about? Uh, I'm afraid I don't. I'm looking well, forward to finding out. I, well, it was very interesting. Um, and I remember this is a shoe store that's sponsoring this man. So the doors open, and this first thing I saw was this big black high top shoe came out and on the floor. And on the, concrete and then another one came out and then this cane my dad was six feet this cane was as tall as my dad and then this head came out of the car and it was a, a brown Stetson hat and then this man stood up and he went up 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 he was eight feet nine inches tall he was the tallest man in the world is that right and he had a brown suit and um, had on a tie and, and a sh dress shirt and his Stetson hat, and he was a giant. And see, I was little. Yeah. I thought giants were Jack of the Beanstalk and Goliath, and here he was the kindest, and he had on little glasses. Well, what was so fascinating about it, he turned and just lifted his foot up and stepped up on the back of this truck. And of course, when he stood up there, that gave about four or half feet more to his height. He was just enormous. Huh. And of course, they wanted him to talk about his shoes. I don't sure. remember about much about that. But what I do remember, uh, people ask him questions. And one of the questions was, Mr. Wardlaw, what kind of house do you live in? And he said, oh, I live in my mother's home, and I stand on the drive, and I can wash her win windows on the second floor. And then he said, I want to play a game with you. And he took a silver doll out of his pocket, and he put it on his shoulder. And he said, any of you fellows that can jump up and get that silver dollar, you can have it. Well, several of the boys jumped up. They couldn't get it. So finally, he just took it and tossed it out into the crowd. Um, Buckhead responded to him. They were proud that he had the, the biggest shoes in the world were walking Buckhead streets right. that day.